Love the cross handed grip really allows your shoulders to be square. Or maybe he's just going to try to make it. Bit of a bonus birdie. Great read for Eric Van Roy, and he races out to three under par with back to back birdies. By the way, I was giving Scotty a couple of extra points. 2 0 and 1 in the Ryder Cup day. It's like a fish story. I was thinking 4 and 1. It was 2 0 and 1. Gets bigger with time. He, had, he, he won all six <laughs> matches he played there. My mistake. Time now for today's Comcast Business Tour Top 10. Speaking of Scotty Shepard, there he is atop the list. This will mirror the FedEx Cup point standings. So Scotty has a huge lead over Xander Shoffley, who just won his first major championship four weeks ago at Bar Hollow in Louisville. And that one comes up a little bit shy. Shane Lowry with that victory. Alongside his good buddy Rory McElroy in New Orleans, rounds out the top ten. You think they had fun celebrating that one? In New Orleans? <laughs> Pretty good landing spot. I think they did okay. Good example of why the front nine's playing a lot easier. You can see a lot of these guys just parring the back nine. Front nine scoring much, much better. See how big a swing Mackenzie Hughes is taking with his third of 15. Well, we saw with the hip, he had that little bit of a decel. You have to keep your speed up. He had a little bit better lie than saw hip did, but beautifully played from Mac. Yeah, that was classy by Hughes. Grab the putter. Close out his par. Speaking of the gala, looks like he's in the go zone, Colt. Yeah, beautiful tee shot. 258 hole, 248 to the front. And Graham, I don't know if there's a golf course on the PGA Tour with more uphill approach shots than this one. Yeah, this green is a lot more accessible now than it used to be in the past. Six of the nine on this second nine play uphill. Bounds towards the back of the green on 17, and it will hole. Well, what a pure long iron hybrid that was. Well, we have a moment. We see that name Palmer on the first page of the leaderboard. Let's send it down to Rex. Thank you very much, George. Joined by Ryan Palmer. 65, that's your best opening round on the PGA Tour this year. I'd ask you how it happened, but you look at the stats, it's pretty clear. You gained almost two and a half strokes on the greens. What did you find this week? Yeah, uh, first and foremost, um, our thoughts and prayers continue to go out to Greg Samaris, family and friends and our PGA Tour family. Um, as for golf, uh, it's just some work I did at home. I've been struggling hitting the golf ball. My iron play has been probably the worst it's been in five years, mm -hmm. long time. Um, but I've gotten to where my putting is better than it's been in, long, in five years probably, uh, going back to conventional with my grip. And um, I've been driving the ball well for a while, just – just ball striking has killed me, and the short game is, is better than it's been in a long time, and my, my putties well. So, um, just some small tweaks I made uh, at home, hitting some golf balls and uh, playing some golf with guys back home at Vaquero, and I just made a little tweak in my setup, and it's amazing what a little tweak here and there can, can do. When you get done tonight and you start looking back at this round, what are you going to be most proud of, those five birdies or getting up and down on 16 and 17 to keep the momentum? Uh, the putting was obviously, you know, those, making those putts on, you know, those those, those two holes and the, you know, the, the pro on 18. But for me, it's just finally just getting out of the way and believing in my iron, my iron play, in my swing. Um, that's been the thing that's kept me back for the past month and a half, two months. Is just I get out there, I hit it good on the range, and then it all goes haywire. It seems like in the fairway. So the biggest thing is just knowing the work I put in. You know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, probably the best Tuesday, Wednesday I've had in, in two or three months.